impossible to find him. In the world of TikTok, there is a rising star in Central Texas. His name is Brian Firebaugh, calls himself the cattle guy. Or the cab of your truck. And this week, he ran toward his camera to say this. So U.S. lawmakers in Washington, D.C. want to ban TikTok. Well, they can get bent. He is among the voices TikTok gathered this week in Washington, D.C. to fight back against a potential TikTok ban. The ability to conduct influence operations, that is extraordinarily difficult to you detect. Can't tell. The FBI director calling its potential connection to Chinese government influence a pernicious risk. Foreign adversaries like the Chinese Communist Party pose the greatest national threat of our time. The U.S. House voted overwhelmingly to force TikTok's Chinese parent company ByteDance to sell off the company within five months. The Chinese Foreign Ministry responded by calling it an act of bullying. TikTok says it would trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans. No, I'm not going to ranch anymore today. But Brian Firebaugh, who's promoted his Hubbard, Texas business on TikTok, views TikTok differently. It helped him raise money to send cattle feed to ranchers in the Texas Panhandle We've got more hay coming in. after this month's devastating fires. We had to use TikTok as a way to provide immediate assistance to these ranchers. So TikTok, TikTok continues to ask its users. TikTok changed my life. To make use of the platform they do have for now. Call Congress and tell them to vote no. Urging Congress to change course. And I stand here in my front yard in front of my American flag. A debate headed next to the U.S. Senate where the fate of this TikTok debate. The stinky. Is unclear. In Dallas. Oh my God. I'm Kevin Reese.